next project is a uh, Biwa Pearl ring. In this case, it's a, a treated Biwa Pearl, and it turns them a, a dark color. It's a permanent change. And um, I like the Biwa Pearl with this particular ring, but it also works well with a cabochon uh, ring. And on this particular one, I don't normally use uh, many twisted wires, but on this one I did. And uh, this is a po possibility as an additional decorative effect across here. I don't believe I will use that. I'll talk about when to do it. I've already cut my wires for this project. We use three wires. Uh, 21 gauge is a good gauge, uh, or 20. And we're using soft, square, gold filled. I cut these use, using uh, progressive cutting techniques. And that's what you should do too. These are nine inches long. And on this project, we don't use the uh, usual 21 gauge wrap wire. We use um, half hard square wire and it should be the same gauge as our uh, primary wires. So the, the beginning of this project is what I call the 270 degree twist. I think I talked about various structures on the uh, introductory tape in this particular one, I use that uh, that kind of structure to hold the thing together. So I align my wires. And they look pretty consistent there. Let's There we are. The wires are properly aligned uh, in the same direction. You get a consistent play of color across the three wires as you move it in the light. So that's what we want. We start this project by doing the 270 degree twist and we do it one half size under what we want the uh, finish size. So for instance, if I want a, a size eight, I would start at a seven and a half. And I center these three wires by eye. It's fairly close at a size seven and a half. And I bring the three wires together around the mandrel at the seven and a half size. And again, they're roughly uh, centered. Well, just a little more over here, I think. So I'm just adjusting the center at this point. So once I get the wires uh, situated on the size seven and a half, I began to form my 270 degree structure. So what I do is I first take one wire and I bring it uh, slightly beyond 90 degrees. Then with my other hand and holding it tight at the, at the right size with my thumb like that, I bring this a little over 200, I mean uh, 90 degrees roughly 135, still holding it at the seven and a half. And I come back to my original three wires and I bring those to 180 and I do the same with the other three. Still on seven and a half. All right, now then I take one of the two wires, it doesn't make too much difference which one, and I bring it just beyond a total twist of 270 degrees. And 
and that's what I have at this point. I'm going to make these just a little tighter. Now these, again, these are soft wires, so they're fairly easy to manipulate. And I'll bring this one a little tighter. Straighten it out again. Okay, so that's what I have. Now, and I'll use my uh, hammer just to flatten this all out and, and line it up. Keep, I want to keep my wires together as best I can. Okay. So here we are. Now I'm going to, uh, again, these are not what you usually use as wrap wires. These are half hard wires of the same gauge as the three prim primary wires, but the primary wires again are soft. This is a half hard wire. And just like I do with the other uh, half round wrap wire, I'm going to bend these and offset them to my left. Just like that. Straighten it as best I can. Straighten it by rubbing against the curvature of the wire. Okay, now then I'm going to put the wrap wires around the ring shank. Should have uh, offset these to the right, I guess, instead of the left. And Notice that I am hooking this wire in the same direction as the wires on the opposite side of the, uh, of the twist, but in the same direction. And the long wire comes out on top of the uh, ring shank like that. So I, I hook that over. And I'm going to do one wrap. Okay. So this is what I have now. Again, I'm going to take the other one. And uh, correction to what I told you initially is I should have offset these to the right, not the left, for this project. To the right as I look at it, just like that, to, toward my right. And this one I'm going to hook around the ring shank again in the same direction but on the opposite side of the twist. In other words, my primary wires are here. This is my wrap wire. It's going in the same direction as the primary wires, but on the opposite side and with the wrap wire on top of the ring shank, the long part of the wrap wire on top of the ring shank. And again, I'm gonna do one wrap. And I, on the uh, introductory tape, I talked about the X structure or foundation, and this is just the version of it with a ring, because there, that would be like the X. We're just holding, instead of the normal wrap wires, we're using this 270 degree twist to hold the uh, structure together. Okay. Now then, I'm going to pre-shape this for the stone. This is a fairly narrow stone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape this up because what I'm going to, the effect I'm going to have is I'm going to bring these three primary wires, just scroll them over the end of the stone in the same on this side. So I'm 
pre-shaping these to uh, fit the stone. And I'm just rolling, just rolling them over like that, just around my finger, I'm just like that. And I do the same on the other end. See how it just scrolls over and these line up very nicely. If they don't, use your round nose pliers to, to make them behave. operating that we'll get it. This little tool mark that I made uh, in the wire we'll be able to take out at the end with a rubberized abrasive. Okay, so this is kind of what I have now. I've got I get it properly aligned. I've got uh, the two wrap wires on opposite sides of the uh, uh, primary wires, uh, the twist for the primary wires, and they're in the same direction as the primary wires. I'll cut this part out. We hit it. All right. I will put my stone in and center it over the uh, over the twist. I'll move my wrap wires under the twist. Like that. Like that. You can see, I've got the stone fairly well centered over the twisted portion. It's not necessarily straight. We don't have to worry about that right now. We just want it somewhere in the ballpark. And I'm wrapping the primary wires around the end of the stone and around the wrap wire. So looking at it from the end, I'm bringing this over the stone and around the wrap wire and out from under the other side of the stone. Like that. We'll manipulate these wires a little bit later to make sure. And then I'm going to do the same with the other three wires. I'm coming in the opposite end of the stone. I'm rolling them, holding them together, wrapping them over and around the end of the stone. And around this wrap wire, which we want out right here. Okay. So here's what we have. At this point, these are, the, these are our wrap wires in there because they're wrapped around the shank. 
These are our three primary wires that are wrapped around the end of the stone on each end and around the wrap wires. Now then I want to uh, want to move the wrap wires up under the side of the stone and I'm going to wrap the short end that I left on I'm just going to wrap it down toward the bottom of the shank Just like this. And I'll put about three three wraps Three wraps on top, just like that. And I'll cut this. Actually, it's it's not too bad, so I'll just leave it. So that's what I've got inside the shank. Three wraps with the uh, cut wire right there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, slide it up under the stone, if possible, as close to the stone as you can get it. I'm going to wrap this down toward the bottom of the shank, the short wire. Three wraps, as I did on the other side. Square wire is a little more difficult to wrap than the uh, half round, but we don't make many wraps. Um, and the purpose of it is just to hold the, the shank wires together. Okay, now my wrap wires are anchored in and uh, they're in the proper position for for the ring, for finishing the ring. Okay. Now then, I bend my wrap wires back. I just, I just bent them back, and that holds these wires together, these uh, primary wires, and it will tighten the stone. I'm going to show you, uh, there are two possibilities here, and I call this, uh, these wrap wires, now I make a bezel like that, and I can make one that just conforms to the edge of the stone, kind of like that, and that's a nice look. The other possibility, uh, and, and this is, uh, the wrap wires conforming to the edge of the stone. The other possibility is to indent these wires and I think that's even a nicer look so that's what I'm going to do here. And the way that's done is you take your round nose pliers um, at the back edge of the um, your three primary wires, just grab it right there, round nose, bend this back out like this, and bring it in in that uh, fashion. And I'll do the same on the other side. If your wire is not facing up, I just use my flat nose pliers to make it 
make it flat like that. In other words, if you, you're looking at it and it's uh, not straight up and down as you look down on it, you should straighten it because it makes it uh, nicer to look at and makes it a little easier to work. So I've done the offset again. I'm going to just bring that around like that. Okay, we're almost through. Okay, now then, I'm going to cut these three wires uh, wherever I want them to cut. I'm going to cut them about an eighth of an inch beyond where I want the uh, bezel wrap wire uh, to end up. So I'm going to cut them about like this. So that, that's about an eighth of an inch. Okay. Now with the, the chain nose pliers, I'll begin to just roll these around that wrap wire. And I just roll the roll it down on itself, something like that. Let me show you a, kind of a larger view of what uh, I'm doing. This this would be the wrap wire coming down. Then I would take the uh, short wires that I cut off to go around the wrap wire. I'm just using my chain those pliers to to make a little little bitty loop. I got this one a little big. And I'm rolling it around this wrap wire. This is what it looks like from the side. And notice that I'm coming from underneath the wrap wire and rolling it over. Move that back, and I crimp this first wire pretty tight. And that will hold these in place. In other words, they won't, once I get them placed, they won't be moving in and out like that. I'll move this back one out of the way. And again, working right at the end of my chain nose pliers. And uh, for the last two, it gets a little easier if you work at the back of. Behind the wires and bring them forward. And then finally, the very last one. it down on itself and force them into alignment. So this is what I have from the side. Those to line up. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with these. Uh, three primary wires on the other end, that is to cut them about roughly an eighth of an inch beyond where I want to. And again, I'll separate them and I'll start with the front wire, front of the, by front, I mean the one closest to the end of the stone. I've trapped the wrap wire. 
tighten that down. Move this one out of the way. And just roll it. Just taking a very small bite. As you can see, uh, a real important tool is a real small pair of chain nose pliers to do really good work. Uh, pliers are extremely important. And I'll reverse it and work this last one from the back. And there we are. Okay. So the stone is very locked in. It's tight. And uh, I've got my primary wires pretty well aligned the way I want them up here. Move that a little more than I wanted to. And so now I'm going to just scroll it around the end of the wire. Um, like this and around the three primary wires on the other side. So roughly shape it with my fingers. Something like that. And it'll be quite a bit smaller. I'm going to cut uh, quite a bit of wire off of this. Do the rough forming on the other end just like I did there. Scroll it around with your fingers and something like that, and I'll cut. I just roll this wire in down through the space between the, the stone and the wrap wire. And here it comes. There it is right there. It's coming. So I'm going to continue to tighten this up, bring it out under the three primary wires. And when I get it uh, uh, where I, I think it looks attractive and I'll cut it off down here and push that wire back through. You won't see the end of this wire. Oh, I don't want it to go there. I want it to go I want it to go under. I want it to go under these primary wires. So you just you force it, actually, you just make it do what you want to do. And I control the size of it by, by rolling it out here. I'll move that out of the way because here, here the wire comes. There it is, right there. 
and I keep pulling it uh, and looking at it on the top until this overlays the wire under it right here. back through those three wires, just a little. Just to straighten it a little bit to try to make it a little more attractive out there on the end. The same with the other end. Sometimes you have to make room for your wire. to do now. I do that by just uh, moving it out of the way slightly. That's about where I I want it. I know it's in there. This is the other end of it, and so I'm just going to cut it. And again, push it right back under there. Okay, so that's our, our finished ring. I'll uh, just tap everything down, and especially my wrap wires here. size it up slightly and if it's slightly misaligned you can just twist twist this some you can twist it 45 degrees if you want to but just line everything up then I would deburr and polish and that would be the finished ring